Hello guys, today we'll be constructing a crane hook using the principle of tangency. And then this is how it starts. This is the image by my left. So remove your T square. We've used the liberty to construct a vertical line already. So use the T square. Then you indicate a center line over here. can see that and I'm given that the radius over here is 45 diameter so 45 divided by 2 will be having 22 as a radius 22.5 as a radius pick out 22.5 they'll place it at this point over here and then rule our cycle We've done that over there. So now the next thing we want to get this cycle and they say diameter of of 90 degrees. So the half of 90, the diameter half of 90 is 45 millimeters radius. Place it at the same midpoint and then we'll draw construct a circle. Sorry. Construct a circle. So now it says 170 millimeter downward. Take our rule from the midpoint. You can see over here from the midpoint to this same to the second midpoint is 170 millimeter, 178 millimeter. So we'll pick 178 millimeter. It's 178 millimeter that will indicate it the center line. Now you can see this we're done with that. So now it says there is a cycle over here which radius is radius 90. Sorry, it's not indicated. Radius 90, that is diameter 90. It has a diameter over here of 90. So half of diameter 90 will be talking about 45 degree, 45 millimeters radius. Place it over here, 45 millimeters radius. Make this side an outline. And then this side over here a little bit light so that and then we see that there's a tangential line joining these two circles together So we'll join. You can see it over there. And then you can erase this a little. So as now you can see you can outline your diagram here. So now we succeeded in getting this path, and now it says we should move twenty. 2 millimeter to our left, so we'll pick 22 millimeter. And this 22 millimeter to our left, and it says we should open the radius of 190 millimeter. So open our radius, radius 90.
you see radius 90 so place it at the points at the points 22 because from here so actually from here to here that was 90 so to our radius 90 Now it says there's a tangential line joining the circumference of this big cycle and the point one of the law principle of tangency tangential line. I have explained that in my previous video. So there's a tangential line from a point to the circumference of the circle. Now we're done with that. So you say there's a rad there's a radius, an arc. That is a radius. This is a cycle, but it's an arc. That's a portion of the cycle that touches through this cycle and then with a tangential line. So all we need to do is that we add since the radius of this to our big cycle is 45, we we'll add 45 with 32 to get an arc so say 45 plus 32 which will give us a 77 45 plus 32 45 plus 32 which will give us a 77 so we take our meter rule then we take 77 So taking 77 take 77 we placed it at this point over here and then describe an arc now in my previous video I also explained tangent arc between angles which I explained tangent arc between angle 90 here there's a tangent arc between a certain angle so all what we need to do we take the radius of 32 millimeter radius 32 millimeter and then we we'll place it at this point which the tangent passes through the this circle and then we'll cut an arc over here a little arc just to have a point, that's what I did over here. And then with that same point, you bisect your arc here. And then using the same radius of radius 32, place it at this point, which you bisect. And then you join. You raise this a little so that your image can come out very well. And then little bits of these so construction lines. Now we succeeded in getting that path. Now we'll be dealing with this part. Don't get it wrong. This is 45 degree to our left. The first we we'll just measure carry 45 degree. This 45 degree. Now, this circle here, either you add 45 degree over here because it's half of this circle, then you add it to this 45 degree, which is giving 90, you place your pin here and you get this point. Or you just take 45 degree as I'm doing right now, you come to this point, see this was, this was where the meet before uh, taking off, this was the major point of, inter, uh, of meeting, so you just take 45 degree See your left now using this arc place your pin back at where you just put this point here then 
make sure you set it very well then strike your arc now similarly let me call this point a okay, i've gotten point a let me call this point b now similarly you do also to see this also just it touches here and it says 45 degree to the left so it's 45 degree to the left this is my point b let it be bold 45 degree to the left now all what you need to do is two ways to go about it here is radius 90 you add 90 with 45 then you put your compass at this point of the the 90 the radius took place form then you strike your arc or you still take the same procedure we did which is just coming over here which is 45 then you place 45 and then you call these points points c now at point c you place your compass and then you scribe an arc now you find that these two arc intersect at this point now in my previous video i explained when cycle touches each other internally and externally so that is what is happening over there let's say here is six radius six millimeter so all what we need to do is will at this point here is touching the cycle internally so we minus uh six from 45 from point b so if six minus 45 will give us 39 millimeter so use our rule we'll pick 39 these are 39 millimeter then we'll place it at point b since it's touching internally so scribe an arc now at point c is touching this radius externally so minus so add externally radius touching each other externally you add so add six uh, millimeter plus uh, 45 millimeter which will give us a 51 millimeter so come to our rule they will pick 51 millimeter then we'll place it at point c then we'll scribe the arc now you see that this arc they are very close making the real points of intersection not as sharp as when an arc comes this way and this way so this side is very sharp so you must be very careful while placing your six and uh, radio six millimeter so as to get the accurate point of that intersection so i'm taking my radio six millimeter pardon because this is the last step i need to be very careful so as not to make mistake so you pick six radius six this is it so you come to the point of intersection make sure you cross check it very well before placing your pin so i'm cross checking you can see i missed it a little so i need to adjust then yeah perfectly done now and then you can see i've succeeded in getting my curve so to make the work look neat this is just it all other works are construction thank you very much this is how to use the uh this is how to solve principle uh a method of tangency uh the tangency method this is a problem and we have solved it thank you it's a crane hook a crane hook principle of tangency thank you very much don't forget to give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel if this really assisted you please just take a little effort by hitting the subscribe button and giving me a thumbs up thank you very much